This is video recorded evidence of my setup of a new machine running Windows 8.1 initially, upgrading to Windows 10 without activation, just pulling the key from the BIOS. So as you can see here is the uh, model number. Um, it ships from the factory with Windows 8.1 Pro on it, and then I will open it and take it out of the box just to kind of prove the whole process. So here we have fresh and sealed in bag machine. Open this up. Put this off to the side. And there again is the model number. Just covering up the serial number. And I'm going to pause for a second while I get it set up on a desk. Okay, so I just have it sitting on a desk now. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to plug it in to a wired Ethernet connection that goes to a outside our firewall uh, internet connection that does not have access to a KMS server. And then I've got... Where did I do with it? Where did I put my USB stick? Oh. My USB stick that I made using the media creation tool downloaded from Microsoft using the uh, the standard uh, Windows 10 image. And plug it into power. And we will turn it on here. And I may adjust the camera a little bit so that we can see the screen. And I'll film this the whole process through just so you can see exactly what I do to make sure if there's anything else I can try again. So I'm going to power the machine on, push F12 immediately. I'm going to boot off the USB flash drive. Take a few seconds here. Didn't have a, a USB 3 stick handy, so I used a USB 2. Gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit repair first because I want to clean the uh, the from the factory image off. So I'm gonna go to troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt, and then I'm gonna use disk part. Select disk zero, clean. So now the the drive is 100% blank. I'm going to exit out, exit out, turn off the PC. And we'll turn it back on and boot to the USB stick one more time. So I'm going to hit next, hit install now, and again this is using the 15.11.10.586.0 uh, uh, ISO, I guess, available from, um, from the uh, media creation site. They haven't updated that to be either the February or March build of uh, 1511, or I guess I should call it 1602 or 1603 then. Um, 
So a few seconds here as we wait for it to start up. So I'm going to say I accept the license terms, whatever they shall be. Somebody knows. I'm going to do a custom install. Select the blank disk. Hit next. And let this run. Uh, I may fast forward a little bit through this uh, just so that people don't have to watch 10 minutes of it installing Windows, but I'm going to let it record unedited from this point on uh, the, the process. Okay, so the initial setup is done, so I'm just going to leave it connected to our uh, wired network here because all the wireless are inside our school, could see our KMS. I'm just going to use Express Settings. I'm going to say I own it because I don't want there to be any confusion of connecting to the Azure AD. I'm not going to connect to a Microsoft account because then I might use some activation I already have. So I'm just going to say skip this step. I'm going to call it test upgrade two no password since I'm just going to blow it away so now Windows is fully booted let's see if it activated already or if it's still waiting So again, it says Windows is activated. Um, so as far as I know, this is uh, pulling directly from the OEM key burned into the UEFI. Um, and Windows 10, at least with the 1511 version, is able to ingest that, that key from UEFI and automatically update without ent entering a product key at any point. Um, this is not attached into a network that has a KMS server, so it shouldn't be able to be activated by a KMS server. Um, I, if there's some other testing somebody wants me to do, let me know.